Armata! Postril! Powerful howitzers have just arrived in the eastern Donbass region. Ukraine says the longer-range weapons are desperately needed to halt Russia's advance. And Australia's donation of these bigger field guns is already being put to use. But Ukraine is asking for even more weapons to defend the east. Soldiers want more modern equipment so they can fire from further away. But the US President Joe Biden says he won't send Ukraine rocket systems that can reach into Russia. Ukrainian troops are struggling to hold on to towns and cities in Luhansk and Donetsk. If they lose, the entire Donbass region will be claimed as the Kremlin's greatest victory in this war. Moscow says it's close to capturing Severodonetsk. It's the largest city still held by Ukraine in Luhansk. For the residents of this aged care home, the war is getting closer. These women have no families to support them and the Ukrainian volunteers won't leave them behind. They're being taken west, out of Donbass and away from danger. Close by, Russian strikes have hit an apartment building. But some, like Roman and Marina, still want to stay. So far, we made that decision. But if it gets too bad, then I don't know. We want to stay here. We want peace. We want our child to go to school here normally. For now, Sonia, their eight-year-old daughter, is doing lessons online. Her school was closed down at the beginning of the war. EU leaders meeting in Brussels finally agree to a watered-down ban on Russian oil after another address by Ukraine's president. The embargo only covers deliveries by sea but still allows pipeline imports. Hungary has been resisting a total ban, saying it would ruin its economy. All quarrels in Europe, which only encourage Russia to put more and more pressure on you, must finally end. Ukrainian losses are mounting and its front lines are shifting by the day. Russia is using scorched earth tactics to try to take more territory, with seemingly little regard for the devastation it's creating. Nick Dahl, ABC News.